<sighs> so, somebody broke into my house, but that wasn't all that was to it. So, let's talk about it. So, as I was telling you guys last time, the story was getting pretty good. Um, I'm not gonna act like I'm posting this Monday and not actually shouldn't have posted it Sunday. I missed it by one day, alright? My bad, I'm sorry. But anyway guys, we left off last time. I left off, where was it, where was it, where was it? Completely forgot. I should have watched the video. But we left off at... My sister got arrested for defending my mom, me, and everybody in the household because somebody decided to break into my house. So, like I told you guys last time, that was not the end. So, what happens beyond that? So, obviously, my sister gets put into, uh, gets taken to the precinct. Um, I, at the moment, was uh, supposed to go to an acting program that I was currently in. However, obviously, I wasn't going to go because of what just happened. So, me and everybody, after the police took my sister away, we all got dressed. My mom's getting emotional. She's calling everybody. My brother, you know, he doesn't really care because my brother's like that. Um, and I think we called my dad and everything. And then we decide to go to the precinct. So, we get to the precinct and we see my sister there. Um she's like you know still in the motion she still has the adrenaline pumping everybody's confused on what's going on my mom calls her boyfriend he comes i'm just there confused as hell and then the thing that really got me really upset was we saw the mother's daughter and she was being taken care of by one of the police officers there and the little girl was covering her face because of how embarrassed she was because her what her mom had tried to do so anyways, um, we get my sister food, blah, blah, blah. Um, we go home because they tell us there's no point in staying because they're going to take her to a court and they're going to figure out what to do next. So we go home and we're all there. And then we have to wait because the, the court um, time that we were supposed to go was really late. So we go home and I shit you not. Everybody's home. My dad, everybody's there. My brother's there. My mom's boyfriend's not there. He's coming to pick us up so he can take us to the court. We're all there. And out of nowhere, you hear a knock on the door. And I'm still sitting in my same spot. I'm still sitting, obviously, where I would always be. So I'm there. And my mom goes to open the door. And it was her, the woman's husband. So... She said she opened the door because she thought maybe he wanted to just talk. So she opens the door and this guy comes in to talk. I mean, my mom thinks she just he just came to talk to figure out what had happened, you know, maybe it was a big misunderstanding. He just wanted to want to he just wanted on he just wanted to know what we had to say. But not only does he come in, another gentleman walks in like they don't even like ask for permission. They walk in and um we talked to my mom after um, this had happened. Like, why'd you open the door? Like, why'd you let me? And then, oh, she said that she only had saw one man standing. She didn't know there was a second one. So, obviously, something happened. Both men come into the house. And um, he's very upset. He's talking loud. The other guys, like, are acting tough. And then my brother comes out. You know, being the man of the house. Not really. And he comes out and he 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 stands in like you know, he stands there like yo, what's going on? And uh the man is like, Oh, I heard you hit my wife. And I was never too sure. I think he does don't this. My brother's probably watching this video right now, I'm sorry. But he's like, Yo, I heard you hit my wife. I heard you and my wife. And my brother's like, maybe I did. You know, my brother's trying to act up. My brother's really not that dumb. My brother's trying to act up. And the other man that he had snuck in, which was the guy's friend, goes and just swings at my brother. Boom. 
and I think just barely got my brother on the chin. And this is so funny, and I always make fun of my brother. The man swings at him and then goes to get closer. My brother turns around and runs into the hallway to try to get away from him. I'm like, yo, you look like the bitch. And then, but that. So then that happens. And again, my mom's like, yo, call police. Call police. So I call the cops again. And yo, tell me how I'm talking to the cops. And I'm like, hello. Um, blah, 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 blah. Some man coming into my house. And she's asking me a bunch of questions. And I'm like, yeah. Um, th- but this isn't the first time we're calling today. Something else happened earlier. And she's like, something else happened earlier. Why are you calling us now? I'm like, excuse me, miss. I don't need you to try to understand right now. I'm not going to explain it. Can you please send over some help? So, um, after my mom's actually, after my mom's making a big deal about it, and she's calling, telling me to call police, these guys run away. They dip out. The cops come. We explain to them what happened. My brother's getting checked out. Bruh. So, and then, bruh, they never, they never, they never caught the guy. Like, they said they were looking for him. They never caught him. Like, I see this guy at the deli all the time. It's ridiculous. Anyways, we go over to the court, and we... Uh, go to my see my sister. Yo, so we, I, I have now called the cops twice in one day. That's the most I've ever. There was another time before I um, you know, I guess I tracked the story. There's another time before I was in my school playground and I was hanging out with my friends. We were waiting for the bus. So we were in the playground and we could just see the bus that was coming. We'd run over. And one of these two kids come over and they asked my one of my friends, like, yo, let me see your phone. And he's like, for what? He's like, trying to say no but the guy is like a little bit older than us he's like yo just let me see your phone let me see your phone so he grabs his phone and runs and me big being like the only ghetto kid there because i went to like you know uh, a good school so everybody there was like pretty like smart and like you know good so i start chasing these guys like and then one of my friends he's you know he's a good kid too like you know he's a good at two shoes but he's like he's like my homie so he runs with me like, he, I could tell he was a little scared, but, you know, he's not about to let me go by myself. So he runs over with me. Yo, we chase these guys down, and they see that we're not letting up. And we call the cops, and we t- said, yo, these guys went into that building. Like, we, like, yo, we look so bad ass. Anyways, so we go over to the court, and my sister's there. And then they uh, bring her out. They take forever. And they're like, oh, yeah, we're going to release you. And then they gave her um, a, this thing of six months. I'm like, that makes no. How do you get arrested for assault when you're defending? What? Anyways, guys, that was that. It was one of the craziest days of my life. I cannot believe it happened the way it did. But, you know, it made hell of a story. Anyways, guys, if you guys liked this second part of the story um let me know what you guys think should i continue because i got some more stories guys like you don't know how i have so many stories like i used to live in dr i came to new york i've been living basically in the ghetto for like od long so i got stories so let me know what you guys think i can keep this going just let me know what you guys think in the comment section if you guys made it to end video let's do a hashtag What should we do this hashtag? Hashtag. Hashtag Sunday, even though it's a Monday. I think it'll be funny. Hashtag Sunday. If you guys been into that video, make sure you drop a hashtag Sunday in the comments and I definitely notice. Anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. Really appreciate it. Um. Uh, I'm going to keep bringing out content. I don't know what else, man. I'm trying to get creative, you know. I'm making uh, the story time Sundays. I want to start giving you. Oh, oh, yes. This is what I was thinking. I am really good at giving advice. So if any of you guys want me to make a video on advice, any questions you guys want, bullying, all that, I got you. Just let me know. And I got you. Just let me know. But leave some questions down below in the bottom. Make sure you guys drop that hashtag Sunday. Make sure you like. Make sure you guys share. And if you haven't already and you like my content, make sure to subscribe. Welcome to the Chimpin TV family. Anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.
Peace.